Hello YouTubers, this is a quick demo for uh, some of the new features that I've added recently to Git file. Git file, just for those who are not familiar with the term, the term or the system, it's a, a, a system that scans, you know, open source projects and looks at the code that is uh, uh, pushed into these open source uh, projects, assuming that they are standard compliant and gives very, very intelligent and very useful uh, insights and analysis and information that kind of helps pave the way forward you know into how this project is going how much it's gonna cost you know estimates and averages it helps even the engineers involved in this project understand their weaknesses and their strengths it even generates an entire resume for them a, a, a written resume with a normal human language you know that can be literally copied and pasted into a file and it would be more accurate than any other resume that would be written, you know, by hand. I, I understood that engineers hate nothing <laughs> more than writing a resume. So I created a system that looks at their code and generates all of these insights for them and then provides them more things like training, you know, and here is your area of ownership. Here's your strength. Here's how you can make this better and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a new feature that you know I'm really really proud of you know this feature you know allows engineers to understand you know the best possible or the most accurate estimate for delivering a certain feature right and this particular feature was one of the highest priorities and the highest goals of building git file in the first place right one of the biggest frustrations that engineers have you know engineers managers you know leaders customers they're all angry all the time, you know, when it comes to deadlines, right? If you've been in the tech industry, whether you've been a year or 20 years or 50 years, right? You understand that there's always a conflict and there's always kind of tension because of the accuracy of the deadlines. How do we bring, you know, the estimates, you know, of deadlines when it comes to delivering features to the most accurate possible uh, 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 data driven way possible? Uh, because git file goes and scans the code let's just go to git file here real quick and let me show you you know what I have for you you're gonna love this a lot okay let's go to git file and here's my screen so this is my profile right I log in with my github account it goes and tells me okay here's here's your score here's your level here's your rank here's how many days you've actually been writing code so when people say oh I've been doing this for 50 years are they have they actually been writing code for 50 years you know what's your grade and so many other things that we've talked about in previous videos and then there's this beautiful thing where it goes and says hey I'm gonna generate a resume a resume for you and this resume basically describes your effort and the amount of time you spent you spent on every project like you started in March ended up in December and what are the things that you've done in a certain project just like that right so you don't have to update your resume every time you quit a project so you don't have to worry about writing or rem even remembering what you've worked on you know it, it does that automatically for you it says let me sh let me see what you've done and let me generate that code for you the, the caveat here is that the project has to be standard compliant. If it's not standard compliant, then it falls into this category of what I call chaos. It's a chaos project, you know, that kind of a waste of time and effort of everybody else involved in it, including the customer. So, okay, so let's pick up this project, for instance. Tarafo is, is an open source social media platform, right, that I have developed kind of, you know, as a, a, a reaction to the current, you know, kind of, uh, uh, waves and waves of social media platforms kind of imposing certain restrictions and being too monolithic and too centralized. I'm not going to talk about Tarafu today. What I'm going to talk about is the analysis feature that I just added in here. If you click on Tarafu as a project, off the top it'll give you full analysis about the project, right? How many open tasks need to be completed, how many people have contributed to this project so far, and how many points, right? These points every category of work kind of lives up you know adds up a certain uh, a number of points and if you scroll down here a little bit you will see this capability here where it goes and says here's here's where your team effort is going you know is your team mainly building foundation services are they mainly building brokers what are they building in terms of capability now here comes the fun part you know, this here, this of course your your averages and, and the activity on the project. Is the project going up? Is it dying down? What's happening? People are taking vacations, whatever the case may be. And then based on the contributors, this is the new stuff. 
based on the contributors on this project, it'll tell you the average time, the average of averages. Like if you have John, Jane, and 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 maybe Vishu and maybe Kailu, you know, you have four people in a project, and each one of them have an average time that they take to deliver an infrastructure piece or an integration piece or a data migration piece. What this does is that it calculates, it mushes together all of these averages and tells you the team on average would take that amount of time to kind of deliver that certain feature or certain task, right? Why does that matter? Like if you are a person that is not a, a, a someone who writes code, right? But you high level, you understand the components are needed to deliver something according to the standard. You can basically go here and say, okay, I want to be able to retrieve all groups right what would it take to retrieve all groups maybe this sprint i want to retrieve all groups so it's basically calculating the averages as you can see here the estimates four days and maybe this sprint we also want to i don't know we want to add a profile picture maybe we want to add you know that would be a sprint for me that's six days you know um but then let's assume that you have a team of four engineers so now your your entire sprint is actually uh, more around two weeks, that's like four days each, let's say three days, that's six days, 12 days, right? So you're basically planning your sprint with the way that accurately fits, you know, the averages. I can go here and say, well, I want to also be able to create groups, right? See, and then maybe add in there, maybe retrieve groups for, let's see, maybe I want to add a view in here. And these are the pieces that basically sets up your sprint in a, in a very accurate way. It says, here's actually on average, you know, the time that you have this sprint and here is the possible tasks that you can shove into one sprint, you know, to kind of complete that. This is very, very extremely accurate because it goes and says for every single engineer on this project, I'm going to go ahead and calculate their averages on this project and see how long they would normally take to deliver that feature. This here is a is, is, is a golden feature for people who are suffering from the problem of not being able to uh, understand how long a team actually would take and these are not static numbers because obviously like git file is built intentionally to continue to enhance you know the capability of the team it goes and says hey it looks like you're not like if like for me as a in my profile in my git pro uh, file profile it basically says wait a second you're taking way too long maybe six days to kind of complete the foundation service here's more available tasks that you can take where you can implement this feature and enhance your averages, right? You're basically working and enhancing your averages to continue to evolve. So if it's investing in the engineers, giving the engineers, it's not just dropping the engineer in the middle of the ocean. It just goes and says, hey, you want a foundation service? Here is all the details you need. Here's some descriptions. Here's some sample code. Here's some documentation that you will need. So it's investing in the engineers, right? So enhancing their experience. So as, as your sprint is going, you know, and as your delivery or your project is going, your engineers are getting faster and getting better, right? How do you know that? If you go into a simple project, this is a project, uh, a, let's, let's pick up one of these um, uh, simple projects that we have running. Let's see here, what's, what's a fun project that we can pick up? Here's, here's a, let's take Tarafo as a project, for instance, right? You know, for a certain period of time when you're investing in people, you'll see that kind of tick for every team. Do you see that tick there? That little tick here tells you whether the engagement of your team and how much the team is actually enhancing, right? So they were delivering 91 points. Now the next month they delivered 283 and then there was a little drop into 155. You, you continue to see, you know, the progress and attendance to particular project. Of course, because this is an open source project, it's at will, right? Anybody can, you know, join the project and not join the project, you know, whenever they want, however they want. It's a little bit more different when it's like the daily job of a certain person where, you know, the, you know, the, the team continues to kind of focus on these uh, skill sets and continues to focus on, uh, the, excuse me, delivering that project. So this is a new feature. This is one of the biggest features that kind of support, you know, uh, engineers ability to give the most accurate estimates. Hey, here's what we can do this sprint. I'm just going to pick up all the tasks that I have and it's very very intelligent like you can go ahead and say wait a second this is this is a little bit over our sprint we need something a little bit lesser so maybe here's nine days I can go here maybe add a couple of code drop tasks and maybe another day 
and maybe let's see here maybe I can throw this in there and this one here just about 20 days and there you go you just created your sprint just like that right here's all the tasks that we can deliver and here's how we can prioritize them now of course there's a big area of improvement there like for instance you know you want to you know add in you want to understand as an engineering manager you want to keep in mind that you know what's your true team availability right you know maybe some team people are going to take some time off some people are going to you know i don't know uh, you know work on other tasks on other projects what's your true availability time you know what's the actual time that you have and how are you going to invest in that git file will come in and say oh here's the actual averages of your team and how long they actually take to deliver this particular feature and here's the most accurate i can guarantee you using a feature like this is more likely more than any other tool you've ever used you know whether you're an engineering manager or, or a program manager you will never see something more accurate than this because it's standardized it's rooted into more in, more engineering uh, uh, principles and concepts and foundations than just a a, a raw calculus or prediction of will the team last month have uh, completed that amount of tasks so let's keep that it assumes that the team is not growing and it assumes that the team is not evolving which is also wrong right like you'll see this in a lot of other you know discussions and planning discussions where people would go in and say well the team finished you know a, a, you know five features that are worth 12 points each so let's stay within that realm. That's absolutely wrong because that basically means that your team yesterday is the exact team from today and the exact team from tomorrow, right? And that's not true, right? People's skill sets change, people, and it's the most corporate things I've ever heard, right? Because in some places around the world, in some corporates, you know, your growth is not really that much of a priority, right? The priority is to get the job done and get the business happy. Git file goes and says, no, the priority is actually the engineer and everything else around that is just a side effect of the growth and the investment of that engineer. Um, Git file will continue to evolve, right? You know, the system continues to evolve. I use it personally to try to see where I'm at, what I need to invest in. I know, like, finally, I started to kind of go a little bit into a full stack engineer based on the projects that I'm involved in and the work that I do. You know, there are opportunities on projects like this system here, this this new system here called failure analysis. I can see that I am a guest level in this project. What is that guest level? That basically means you are someone who is a passerby. You know, you just cleaned up a couple of things or you did a, qu you know, quick work in there, but not fully wholeheartedly invested into the project from the beginning till the end right so this is an area of an improvement where i can go and say wait a second this is not you know where i want to be i want to more be be like a, a a supporter a contributor a co-founder and an owner of this project this is all based on your level of contribution right some other projects i'm really happy with you know i can just go in and say yeah i'm you know obviously i'm more involved in this project this is my heart and soul now where where my investment is i'm gonna be i'm gonna be doing well in there uh, also leverage you can leverage the you know a, 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 the areas of contribution charts i need to do a little bit more provision i need to do a little bit more minor fixes when they present themselves a little bit more controllers it's all about the engineer built by an engineer you know for themselves and for the rest of the world so you can actually grow and evolve and and become bigger and better in your craft uh, I hope you found this something useful. If you have any questions about Git file, please reach out. Git file is free, always will be for the engineers. Every engineer out there in the open source arena, you know, use Git file. Uh, contribute to standard compliant projects. Look what these projects are uh, presenting to you and take the advantage of, you know, kind of putting your craft back in the line. You know, instead of just being lost, you know, not knowing what you need to learn and what you need to invest in, what you need to evolve. You know, Git file will give you this kind of guidance. You know, it's my way of scaling my love to the world. You know, instead of being able, I knew like physically I can't sit down with every engineer around the world and kind of teach them the standard, right? But what I could do is to evolve a system like Git file so I can replicate myself, right? So you can, you know, you're basically getting exactly about the same things that I would say to you if it's just you and me and there's nobody else in the world, you know, that, that wants to learn the standard. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, as usual, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. You know, take a look at Git file if you haven't, and if you did, you know, let me know if there's any enhancement or improvements I can do. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you in another video.